was Abd al-Qadir al-Jazairi, a man who was so brave and noble that even his enemies fell in love with him. Abd al-Qadir was a brave Muslim scholar, warrior and leader from Algeria. He fiercely fought against the French invaders from 1830 to 1847. In 1832, he was elected as a leader of the Algerian army. Within two years, Abd al-Qadir was able to unify Algerian tribes and re-establish security throughout the region. He often used Islam to unify divided factions amongst his people. He still, however, employed Jews and Christians to help him build his state. The French thus decided to impose a peace treaty to suppress Abd al-Qadir's ongoing victories. This, however, allowed him to expand his territory. When the French government violated the treaty, Abd al-Qadir resumed fighting French colonies. And in 1840, the Governor-General of France was appointed to finally overthrow Abd al-Qadir. The war lasted for seven years, and in 1847, Abd al-Qadir finally surrendered. He was sent to France and held captive. After Napoleon III became president, he freed Abd al-Qadir. While in Damascus, a conflict between the Druze and the Christians erupted. Realizing the imminent threat, Abd al-Qadir sheltered many Christians, including a large religious group, the Sisters of Mercy. He even sent his eldest sons out on the streets to invite endangered people into his protection. When he was asked why he did such a thing, after the French Christians had harmed him so much, he responded, this was the teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abd al-Qadir was soon hailed around the world as a hero and soon became known as the most loved enemy of France. May Allah have mercy on Abd al-Qadir and grant him the highest station in paradise.